On your Thursday morning, that is horse tooth, and uh, it is just gorgeous out there today. If you have the time and the means, get out for a hike because it's going to hit 70, if not more, today. Greg will have the details on that in a second. But first, winter weather can bring all kinds of itches caused by dry skin, but it also tends to be a peak time for head lice. I know. It's gross. You probably don't want to talk about it, but if you've got kids, you got to know about it. The most common victims scratching their heads are our kids. According to the CDC, an estimated 6 to 12 million infestations happen every single year in the U.S. among kids from ages 3 to 11. So, the Fox 31 problem solvers, we solve problems whether they're nice or gross, like head lice. <laughs> we are here to try to take the itch away. Kelly Boswell, uh, owner of Lice and Easy, is here to tell us more of what we need to look for. So, First of all, what do we look? What do we look for? I mean, is it just kids scratching their heads? Yes, but you know, approximately only forty percent of children will itch with head lice. Really? So you may not have, yeah, you may not have those telltale signs. You can look for itching, of course, and sometimes a, a rash at the right. base of the neck. Well, and the first question I asked you is: This as big of a problem as it was twenty, thirty years ago when I when I was growing up, and it seemed like it was everywhere. Um, it's still a problem and prob perhaps a bigger problem because the stuff over the counter is just not effective anymore. It's been out for 30 years right. and so the bugs have mutated and it is just not effective. Wow. See, that's something else. And so are there new uh, processes and new solutions? Well, we use um, an FDA cleared medical device that uses forced heated air and okay. what it does is it desiccates everything on the head and most importantly the eggs. So it's natural, it's about a one hour process, and it's 100% guaranteed. Interesting. Um, there are some over the counter and some home remedies, but they're messy, they're costly, they're right. very time consuming, and most times they're ineffective. Uh, you know, I'm one of five kids, as I was telling you, and I remember growing up when, you know, one of us brought it home from school, and next thing you know, within 24 hours, all of us had it, and my mom had to sit us down and do the Correct. comb, and then, as you mentioned, those solutions that mm -hmm. don't work anymore, mm -hmm. but back, back then they did. And it was a process, had to spray everything and wash everything with a special detergent. Do you wish people would talk about it more? Oh, absolutely. I think if they would, we wouldn't have the problem that we have. You know, they're non-discriminatory, yeah. so they're not looking for <laughs> dirty heads and all the things that we thought we knew when we were growing up. And they do spread through a house. So if one person brings it home, it's no different than the cold or yeah. the stomach virus. When your child brings it home, it's going to spread through the house. And you have to identify who has it and treat everybody at once or they're going to keep passing it back and forth. So what if uh, you know, a note comes home from school saying that someone in school does have head lice? Is there something parents can do and still send their kids to school? Because frankly, I would be hesitant to even send them to school if I knew a kid oh, in class had absolutely. We it. have preventive products. You know, there are natural products that work. Okay. Um, if, if you get that note from school, the best thing to do is just check. Check once a week. You, know, you need to get on top of it. The sooner you catch it, yeah. the, the better off you're going to be, and hopefully the rest of the family will not also be affected. Is it hard to check? Or yeah. Do you literally just look at your child's head to see if there's bugs? Or will you see it if it's will be not that necessarily the bugs, but the eggs? Yeah. And um, we do a lot of education at Lice and Easy. We will show you how to check. I mean, right. the best thing and the most important thing nobody tells you when you're having children is you really need to have a good lice comb at home. <laughs> but you do, and you can run a comb through what we call the hot spots. There are certain areas that they lay their eggs, and you can find it very quickly and um, eradicate it. You know, the sooner you catch it, the easier it's going to be. And maybe this is a silly question. Is it more common in girls because they have more hair than boys? That's not a silly question. They have more exposure. Yeah. Um, it is head-to-head -head contact. So the longer your hair is and if it's sure. down, you know, one of the things that we recommend for our clients of little girls if they have longer hair is just to keep it up. Ponytails, it. braids are excellent. It's hard for them to grasp onto. So, but little boys will get it if they have a sister right. that has it. <laughs> well, like I said, I had two sisters. But the shorter hair does help. It. Okay, great. Or you can just shave your head like Ken, our traffic guy, and then you don't have to worry about you it. You got to shave completely. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> down to the down to the uh, scalp. Well, thank you so much. Good. Very good information. Uh, you guys have locations uh, here in in uh, Denver. We have one in Arvada and one in Centennial. And is there a website as well? Absolutely. It's um, LiceEasyColorado.com. There you go. Nice and easy. Well, thank you so much. Of thank course, you. we'll post that as well on our website, KDVR.com. You can just click on the On Fox 31 tab at the top of our page. Greg, we don't like to talk about it, but you no, and I were joking. You had it when you were a kid. Yeah, I had dude. it when I was a kid. I, uh, I came back from summer camp and I used to have like a fro, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and I was just like littered and uh, they had to shave off the old fro and that's how I got short hair and I kept it since then. Uh, right now we are nice and clean.